I'll be home at nine. Maybe ten, okay? Yeah, look, 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 I've got to go. Bye. You've got a pass. This is Mr. Galway, the Deputy Prime Minister. I'm his private secretary. So am I. Still need to see his pass. I've lost it. Lost it? Yes, lost. As in, I've just lost my job as a security guard. The Prime Minister wants you to see the Danish ambassador. Did she ring? The ambassador. The Prime Minister? No. She said she would. She hasn't. She never does. She's the Prime Minister being busy. It's part of the job description. Along with never phoning me. I need to talk to her about that report. Have you got my notes typed up? Who knows? The ones I wrote for the report. From the Intelligence and Security Committee. I haven't seen your notes. What's the time? 12.46. I meant in Japan. Um, 9.46. In the morning? No, at night. But you can't talk to the Prime Minister about the ISC report. If those bastards at MI5 are bugging phones illegally, don't you think the PM should be told? Well, yeah, but maybe not in a conversation on the phone. Well, as soon as she gets back, I want an urgent meeting. Well, in that case, I'd better find the report. Did you um, mix it up with your constituency papers? I haven't got time to talk to you about your inability to unpack my boxes. Actually, you have. You're one o'clock from council. Not by me. Mr. Newbury's done his usual trick. He got his secretary to phone up five minutes ago with his apologies. I don't want his apologies. I want his ass on that sofa. And I want a large scotch. Are you sure that's wise? Maybe not. Make it a bloody enormous scotch. <laughs> What? I was just thinking. Mr. Galway's office. Mr. Galway's office. Find Alan Newbury now. Hang on a minute. Hmm? Can you talk to Carl? Carl. Mr. Cameron. My son, Carl. Do you know any other Carl? No. So, shall I put him through? Too busy. Can I call you back? No. Okay, bye. Uh, Mr. Galway, your constituency agent has just arrived. He's not in the diary, is he? No, he certainly isn't. He's with a woman. I have no idea who she is. This is Katie Wells. Is he in? He doesn't have time. Don't worry, I know where he is. No, you can't. Mr. Hammond, please. 25 years I've known him. Stay here. No chance of a cup of tea. Do I look like a tea lady? Yes. Why didn't you ring first? I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Mr. Hoover, I'm sorry. Oh, there's no need to apologise. He's secretly very pleased to see me. Anyway, you needn't have bothered. Alan Newbury cancelled the meeting. What? When? Why? I'd be finding out now if I wasn't talking to you. Uh, who's looking after Katie? No one. Well, give her a cup of tea, will you? I'd really rather... Don't worry. She won't steal the crockery. Well, she might. We can always get some more. Milk and sugar. Tom. She's not doing any harm. I didn't say she was. You think we're messing up your lovely clean office? It's not an office, it's a waiting room. And we're just waiting. We are allowed to be here. Well, actually, since you're a constituent, you ought to see Mr. Galway in the Commons. We'd prefer it if we didn't see him at all. And my boyfriend got shot. He's dead. Oh. I applied for compensation. They told me to piss off. Did they? I'm sorry. Why did you bring her? I thought it might help if she had a word with Alan Newbury. I don't need any help with Newbury. We both know he's a tricky customer. If Katie told him her story, he might be more sympathetic. Did you tell her what I'm planning to do? Yes. What did you say to her exactly? I explained to her, in layman's terms, that you're trying to persuade Newbury to change the law by using his private member's bill so that she could get some compensation. I thought perhaps a photo opportunity in the Commons. I haven't got the time. That's a shame. The Evening Mail would love a picture of 
Birmingham's finest MPs. Since when was Newbury one of Birmingham's finest MPs? Okay, a picture of two MPs from Birmingham. No, she's brought the kids. Oh. You and Newbury with Katie and her two little girls. Well, perhaps just the one photo. Don't worry, Bob, as you know, I never listen to a word you say. Have you met Stephen Sharples? Yes, I'm afraid I have. What are you doing here? I would have thought that was obvious, even to you. No, I meant, what are you doing in the Cabinet Office? I'm having a meeting with the Cabinet Secretary, didn't he tell you? No, he didn't. Does anyone tell you anything? Probably not. It's about the ISC report. Oh, did they send you a copy? I commissioned the inquiry. Yes, you've got a bit of a thing about MI5, haven't you? With good reason. They do a difficult, dangerous job in a challenging, stressful environment. What are you? Their press officer. I know these people, Bob. And I worked with them when I was at the Home Office. Years ago. When you still had a future. Why don't we go and have a word with Katie? Good idea. It stinks in here. <laughs> Bad news, I'm afraid. Alan Newbury didn't turn up. Does that mean he's changed his mind? About the private bill? I don't know. <laughs> 